So now the infrared emitters lighting up, pretty much being read by the 3D vision. It's asking like what kind of my preferred setup is. It's talking about making sure everything's connected. It's pretty much asking, do I have other 3D vision monitors and stuff in the house? What kind of, if I'm using the 3D vision TV or if I'm just using a 3D vision monitor. And it says, okay, it's found. Now it's talking about the glasses, which pretty much you can turn them on by just hitting this button on the side. And they actually charge really well. They take the USB 3.0 uh, cable that you use for your Samsung Galaxy phones and like charging PlayStation controllers or PlayStation 4 controllers at least. So, and they have like a decent wire size so you can just plug it into your computer and you can use them while they're charging and they have a good lifespan. I don't know the exact lifespan, but they last a while. Next. Okay, so you see how there's two images showing up here and stuff like that. If you look through one lens, the left lens, you notice how it shows all green. And if you look through the right lens, it shows all of the um, blue arrows. So I'm pretty much going to pick what I see on which one for obviously the because it's trying to pretty much make sure that's working properly. And there is a square here that pops out pretty much like you can might be able to see the outline for it a tiny bit and pretty much it wants to know like if you can see that in 3d vision or not and it's again like i said it's going to be difficult to show you because pretty much you have to be able to look through both lenses in order to see it and it's just not going to really work that well through video purposes but i'll try my best and it launches a couple of the games that it works with for example like you know um i forget this that's so like burnout paradise and then this is the Devil May Cries. I mean, you might be able to see it a little bit, and you can kind of see how the, in the image changes a tiny bit, but, like, it's not going to be too good of an example in comparison for trying to show you the older Tomb Raider. It works for the newer one as well. It works for a lot of games, but you can kind of see it a little bit. I mean, that's, I think, the best I can give you when I'm trying to show you it because it's not really, like meant to be shown this way, but you kind of get the gist of it. And you want usually the IR emitter as close to your 3D vision monitor as possible for it to work.